This is your chopper pilot here with a short tutorial on how to fly the helicopter in Battle Bay Remastered. But first, start off. You have to start the helicopter. The default key bind to start the helicopter is E as an echo. Then the engine of the helicopter will start. Be careful though, if you hold that key again, the engine will turn off. Meaning, in the middle of your flight, if you hold echo, the helicopter will turn off and you won't be able to control or rotate it anymore. So, you've pressed and held E, now the engine started, what do you do? Well, if you look above me, you should see, all right, point now, above me, there's a little keyboard there that you can see my buttons. W is the default button that makes you go up or ascend. One thing I would highly recommend, limit your left and right movement on your mouse as much as possible. The left and right movement <clears throat> on your mouse is going to cause your helicopter to rotate and fall very quickly, especially considering how they changed the helicopters a couple of patches ago. So limit your left and right movement on your mouse as much as you can. If you notice, I'm holding W, I'm holding S, and slightly turning my mouse Unfortunately, the little mouse thing isn't working, but I'm slightly turning my mouse to the left while I am flying to do little circles here. So, like I said, limit your left and right movement on your mouse. Very technically, if I wanted to, I could move my mouse just a tiny bit while hitting A and D. So, limit your mouse movement and just use it to mildly correct yourself a little bit at the start. Another thing I could recommend is limit your up and down on your mouse as well. Pretty much don't need to go up and down on your mouse unless you want to change your speed. The more down your nose is, the faster you're going to be in general, but also the faster you're going to fall towards the ground, or the faster you may descend, depending on your angle. That is kind of a basic start to flying the helicopter. There's a couple other key binds that are important to consider or keep in mind. My camera, unfortunately, is kind of blocking it right now, but if you can see at the top corner, it says Q. That is the repel or the rope that you can put down for the helicopter. If you notice, it's hard to see, but C is the default key bind for change camera. This allows you to see below you or see the rope that you have deployed. If you notice, I've pressed Q again. The rope has now gone up. I press Q again. The rope has now gone down. Some people have said that having the rope down makes you fly worse or impacts your flying. Personally, after I believe roughly three to four-ish hundred hours of flying, maybe closer to five or six now in battle bit, I've noticed no difference with the rope being down or up. So I would personally say that you can probably keep the rope down and see almost no impact to your flying. The real thing that people biggest difference is that it makes your helicopter a little bit more visible because you have a black rope that is now floating in the sky so that may impact your visibility but besides that i don't think your flying at all is going to suffer any consequences so one other key bind or one other thing to keep in mind is you can actually right click to alt look i'm in the attack heli right now so it actually revs the gun of the attack heli but if you're in other helicopters like the Blackhawk, there's actually almost no one in this game right now, so I should actually be able to just quickly go over here, and show you. So the Blackhawk helicopter. If I hold right click, you can hear there's no revving of a machine gun. And we are able to look left and right pretty simply. So those are kind of your basic key binds. You're going to mostly be holding W. You're going to use A and D to kind of turn yourself a little bit here and there. You'll use left and right on your mouse to help you with your turns. And if needed, you'll hold S to descend or go down. Q will drop your rope. C will change your camera. That's kind of the basic instructions or basic tutorial for the helicopter. Kind of the flying and the Wait a minute, is this it. the real chopper pilot? I'm actually recording a tutorial video right now, so yes it is. Here you go. 
buddy. You got this. Awesome. Go, go, go. So. That's kind of the basic controls or basic things that you will be doing when you are flying a helicopter. Now, to kind of get into some more advanced things or some advanced controls or things that you can consider, what I would recommend is one, you should hopefully you have a mouse that has multiple key binds or the ability to bound multiple things. So, with your mouse, there are two very, very, very useful keybinds that I personally have that I would highly recommend. I have change camera and I have S or descend on my mouse. Reason why is because you can change your changing your camera is very useful looking at the rope. But one thing that you may not notice initially is that the rope is actually a rear view camera. So look at this for one second here. Notice how if the helicopter, the Black Hawk is right below me, I flip on the camera, it's, or it's in front of me, I flip on the camera, it's no longer in front of me. I turn around, it's now behind me, I flip on the camera, I can now see the helicopter more behind me. So it's, it's not exactly a perfect rear view camera, but it's actually looking more kind of behind you, if that makes sense. The reason why this is actually really useful is because when you get a little bit better at flying and you kind of learn just your classic flying straight and kind of wiggling a little bit, you can actually fly backwards. So if you angle your helicopter nose at the right angle and you hold S, you will actually fly backwards. Now this is not really possible in the Blackhawk. Actually, yeah, this is not really possible. I was going to say I can test this right now, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> It's not really that possible in the Blackhawk, but it's very useful in the Little Bird because flying backwards is significantly faster than flying forwards. So you can have S on your mouse if that helps you holding S. I almost never hold S on my mouse when I'm flying backwards. The real reason why S on your mouse is good though is because if you hold W and S, it kind of makes your helicopter float a little bit. So you'll like float and you will actually kind of levitate. So, it's a very useful keybind. There are more things, more things that you can learn. Like for example, whatever your keybinds are, if you just put left and right on your mouse and keyboard onto a button, you can actually barrel roll. And in this situation, I'm holding D and I'm holding the button that now goes, I believe to the left. Yep, to the left on my mouse. So by holding D and the button that goes left on my mouse, my helicopter is able to do a very simple little easy barrel roll, which helps with maneuvering and helps you dodge some things and helps you kind of juke people. But that was a very simple little tutorial. I know it's, it's kind of in the middle of a game, but that's the only way we can really have helicopters right now. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that helped out some of your first flying just a smidge. I know it's a little basic, but I'm going to look into making some more in-depth tutorials in the future, especially with a lot more editing and a lot more video editing, but I got to learn some of that. So until then, I will see you on Twitch. I normally stream. This is a uh, mountain standard time, so a little bit more specific, but mountain standard time. I usually stream Friday or Thursday and Friday. Usually at about 10 a.m. is when I'll start, and I'll go until about 4.40 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and then Monday nights so I usually try to stream as well. So, hopefully I can see you on Twitch. That's where I'm streaming. If not, no worries. Hopefully this video helped you. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, this is your Chopper Pilot speaking.